Hello everyone, I'm Leon Thomas Lewick. Here's your political news roundup for Monday, July 16th. He sent U.S. jobs overseas. That's the charge both President Obama and Republican challenger Mitt Romney are making against each other today. Both candidates did campaign TV interviews. Romney disputed the Obama camp's charge that moves by his Bain Capital Investment Group led to U.S. jobs going to foreign countries, and he blasted the president's record on the economy. For his part, Mr. Obama blasted Bain Capital as a pioneer in outsourcing. There is a report that Romney could name his vice presidential running mate as early as this week. The New York Times reports the announcement could come before a planned Romney overseas trip. Analysts say the announcement would also remove some of the campaign focus over Romney's involvement at Bain Capital. About a half dozen candidates are on what the Times reports to be a short list of VP possibilities. Romney travels to London for the opening of the Olympic Games next week, then goes to Israel to meet with Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu. Secretary of State Hillary Clinton is in Israel today. She'll be updating President Shimon Peres and others on what she heard earlier in her trip from new Egyptian President Mohamed Morsi. The Israeli leadership has become more concerned about the regime change in Egypt and fears various peacekeeping agreements between the two countries could be canceled. One official said Clinton will bring a calming message, adding that Egypt's primary concern is getting its own economy in order, not changing its commitment to peace with Israel. Back home, Democratic lawmakers in Washington are floating the idea of letting the country fall off the edge of the so-called fiscal cliff in January. That cliff involves the scheduled expiration of Bush-era tax cuts, along with huge automatic cuts in federal spending programs. Democratic Senator Patty Murray of Washington State said Democrats could be willing to let the deadline pass without a new deal. A deal, she said, would have to include having the wealthy pay their fair share of tax revenues. Letting the country go over the fiscal cliff, she said, would hurt Republicans politically. That's your Political News Roundup for Monday, July 16th. I'm Leon thomas Lewick. Stay logged on to rttnews.com for the latest political, economic, and market news all day long. Thank you.